them. It's my honor and my privilege to participate in this incredible event, the NRB Proclaim 18. I am here on behalf of the Christian desk that we have in Yad Vashem. The director of the desk, Dr. Susanna Kokonan, was not feeling well, so unfortunately, she couldn't make the long flight from Israel to Nashville, and so I was honored to come here to represent our special and important institution, Yad Vashem, the World Holocaust and Remembrance Center. The name Yad Vashem was taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 56, verse 5. To them I will give in my house and within my walls a memorial and a name, a Yad Vashem, better than that of sons and daughters. I will give them an everlasting name, which will not be cut off. In Yad Vashem we remember the past and we educate for a better future. We remember by collecting documents, diaries, lists of deportations, letters, artifacts, testimonies from survivors, anything that can teach us about what happened there to the children, the mothers, the families, the communities. We don't want to talk about six million. We want to talk about individuals, one and one and one. And we're trying to build a better future by education and so the International School of Yad Vashem has different curriculum programs for different groups, such as Israeli school children, Israeli soldiers, educators from around the world, and also for Christian leaders. This year, we we're marking 70 years to the renewed Jewish state in the land of Israel. This is something that we can't take lightly. I think that all of us in this room, as believers, can actually see the prophecy of Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 21, taking place. I will take the Israelite out of the nations where they have gone. I will gather them from all around and bring them back into their own land. And so five years after the Shoah ended, and after 1900 years of exile, the Jewish people started their way back home, and the state of Israel was established. And we're still within the process of this prophecy of Ezekiel, where with the help of God and his representatives on this land, we will see this year the American embassy moving to our eternal capital, the holy city of Jerusalem. The Jewish people are not a nation that goes back to revenge. No. We look back to remember, but our revenge is by forging ahead, by building. We've built a beautiful state, and we are now building bridges. One of the important bridges that we are building is the friendship with the Christian world, a friendship that we truly cherish. And that is why having a Christian desk in Yad Vashem is so special. And the work that the desk does is essential. I call you to be in touch with Dr. Susanna Kokonan. Meet her. Invite her to your ministries. And please, come to visit us in Yad Vashem on the Mount of Remembrance in Jerusalem. We're privileged to have with us here today Luna Kaufman, a Holocaust survivor. For many years, Luna taught Holocaust. Her purpose in teaching the Holocaust is to educate children, students, actually all of us, to be tolerant and respectful of one another. Determined not to vanish from the face of the earth, she waged a fight in the most dynamic and constructive way. While the physical warfare waged by the Nazis was very efficient, the psychological one did not succeed. Despite the con concentrated effort to dehumanize uh, at dehumanization, they did not manage to strip her human dignity. She survived and emerged with obsessive drive to prove Nazis wrong. She plunged into, 
into the remaining bone years of her life to compensate for the six million Jews whose abilities and talents went up in smoke in Auschwitz. She and other survivors took upon themselves the obligation to prove that the, that the Jewish people did not vanish, neither did humanity. This short description of Luna was written by Sister Rose from Seton Hall University. And now I would like to ask you, Luna, to please share with us a little bit of your experience. I will come and join you. You can sit, you know, you can sit here and they will hear you.